right before my hair, I changed my hair and I had a glow up too. Hey, Ganja. Hey, sister. You're looking fabulous. <laughs> you know how I am, girl. I usually wear very homophobic wigs because it's just for YouTube, so I never really put in the work. Well, that's okay. I'm just changing my hair three times today because I paid a lot of money for my extensions. <laughs> <laughs> well, this hair is actually made by Jasmine Kennedy's BF. So thank you so much for this beautiful hair that I paid for. I love that. Bootleg opinions. I know we're here to talk about the looks, but often at times, we never really talk about the smell. So let me share with y'all one of my favorite fragrance brands, Dozier. And I'll turn it a fair way to fragrances. They take luxurious and high-end fragrances and reproduce these brands that are $200 to $300 to just $29 to $59. Oh my gosh, I have got to get bottles on bottles now. Where do I go to sign up? Dozier has a welcome offer up to 20% on the site. You can actually get up to 30% by using the code. The extra 5% applies at checkout. What I love about Dozier is that it comes with a card that tells you exactly what's in there. For example, the citrus tea is inspired by one of Laveau's fragrances. The bottles are very chic and very travel size friendly. So if you're ever on the go, just drop it in your purse and go! Let's test them out together. This is the citrus tea. It smells so good. It smells just like the original. Very delicious. Just like a queen. Next up is the spicy vanilla. I love it. It is so sage and spicy. I'm wearing this tonight. You're kidding me. It's that simple and easy. Oh my gosh. Just a click away from smelling like a true doll. Let me sign up now. So stash your way to the link in the description and get yourself started with Dozier. I'm sure you'll love them as much as I do. <sighs> so what do you look for in this first runway? I'm looking for color coordination. I am looking for signature drag. I'm looking for jewels and glamour and embellishment. I'm looking for sickening. Okay. What would you have worn? Green marijuana, duh. If that ain't green, I ain't what? Interested, oh grrr. It's a very dry, it's almost kinda like your last wig. <laughs> <laughs> My last wig. I was flying as high as your receding hairline, honey. And then I moved to a better wig. <laughs> Go, Valencia. But I understood you. Where I discovered weed. Discovered marijuana. You have to really emphasize on the porn as if you're really flying as high as you're receding hairline. At this point, I think you know my stand up better than me, for sure. Anyway, Such first category is, is turn the beat around. Anyway, category is signature drag. We first up have Alexis Michelle. Again, her last name rhymes with hell. And definitely, this is her signature. <laughs> you keep laughing. I just can't take you seriously ever. <laughs> we first up have Alexis Michelle, whose last name rhymes with hell. And of course, she is serving us in beautiful glamour drag. This hair, so beautiful. It is so soft for what Alexis Michelle is usually serving because her hair is so always well done out. The dress is built in beautifully with the cuffing of the breast. And I also enjoy that there's one glove and one chain on the other side. It gives it much of an edge. I enjoy this. Hold on, my computer's dying. I absolutely agree. This look is fabulous. I think the color choice is so beautiful on her skin. I'm loving her hair and her mug is so perfect. Like, wow, she really has improved her makeup skills to beyond. I think, again, like you said, the one glove and the one bare sleeve is really, really cool and very current and edgy. And I just love this crushed velvet. I think she looks rich and I'm here for it. Oh, she just gave me poetry, baby. Next up to the runway, we have Miss Darian Lake, and she is looking ferocious in her cheetah print from head to toe. I love what she's giving here. Her body shape looks so beautiful, and I love this liquid sequin dripping down the front of her decolletage, down to her tummy, all the way to the bottom of the gown. I think she really looks sophisticated, and this is also giving me very signature Darian Lake, so I really enjoy this. Yeah, I love this too. The huge hair, the huge proportions from the top to the bottom, from the shoulders to the hips to the dress. Beautifully done from the animal print. And as it blends into the sequin, beautifully done as well. One thing that I kind of wish she did was maybe have something in the hair maybe. 
Elliot with two T's did an animal print for her reveal. What she did was she had a hat with feathers shooting up to the heavens, and I think that elevated the look, whereas I can see it with this as well. But nonetheless, she looks so beautiful in this. Great job, Darian. Yeah, I absolutely agree. A fascinator really would have been fascinating. You remembered. Next up is Huddy in Closet serving you this plum outfit and this animal print, and she is serving you hot pink lining, baby. So gorgeous with the correct hair. The collar is beautifully done with the bottom of the dress. It is trailing in back of her. Again, she leaves a lasting impression as she leaves the runway too. I think the purple and pink work really well together. They're very complimentary color choices. And I love that it's print on print yeah. with the high cut in the front and the low, low train in the back is so cool. I think she really looks regal and it is giving me her signature drag. I still recognize Heidi in this very much so. Yeah, I always say if you have a shoulder piece or a neck piece, put the hair up. Guess what, y'all? Heidi put her hair up. Imagine if she has her hair down, it would have been too cluttered with the shoulder pieces. That's a great job, Heidi. Next up, we have Miss Kahana Montrese representing for Vegas. And I feel like this is one of my favorite looks I have seen this season thus far. She just looks so fierce. I do think the breastplate is a little big, but I know that's her vibe and it's very Vegas showgirl of her. I just love that there's so much detail in this look from the rhinestones to the feathers to the beaded headpiece. I mean, she is just giving us full out signature drag. And this looks so expensive because it most likely was. I think she nailed it. Yeah, this is how you serve body and still give us drag, right? Because a lot of times I feel like some queens Yes, they have an amazing body, but they rely on it. But over here, she still shows us a beautiful body, but an amazing costume as well. I love the fiery colors of the red with the pink with the yellow and the orange. And she is definitely a phoenix rising from the ashes, y'all. She even dragged it up and made it so Vegas with the crystals and the sequin. This is beautifully done. I am obsessed with the shoes, y'all. Even her hair, y'all, had beads in it. I am obsessed too, and I really love how she took us to this hot box fireplace. I mean, I can feel the heat from here months and months later after filming. I think she really, truly looks like perfection. Next up is Candy Muse serving you futuristic drag of her style. Not much to it to talk about, honestly, that, um, you know, you know, it's, 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 it's red, you know. I honestly don't even think that this is her type of drag. Do you think it is? It wasn't my favorite look of the evening, I will admit. I do love how the material is holographic, and I love that she brought the rhinestone detail from the outfit into the hair. I think that matching vibe is super, super cool, super funky. I love her body in this. I love when she gives us a high waist and lets her legs just do all the walking and talking. But overall, I was a little underwhelmed with the look. It felt like it needed maybe a cape or a reveal or some other element to really take it to that signature drag style. Yeah, I agree. I enjoy that it's a red monochromatic look from the hair to the makeup to the outfit to the shoes. But yeah, it's missing a lot of pieces from the bottom down. I agree with you. Maybe she has some fabric in the back as well as if she's like a warrior princess or something like that. And even when she turns around, y'all, I don't know, girl. That doesn't read candy to me at all. I also think she could have added a nice tall boot made out yeah. of the same holographic red material with more rhinestone detailing on that. I think that also would have been that other element we were looking for. Next up is Miss Nasha Lopez serving you glam sex. This hair is fantastic and this bodysuit is fantastic as well. But I don't know if this is signature Nasha drag. When I think of Nasha Lopez, I'm thinking of a beautiful pageant gown or something so glamorous and beautiful, so I don't know how this relates back to Nasha. Um, but I do enjoy that she took it from the outfit, to the gloves, to the shoes as well. And maybe I would have done a different lip color so that it reflects this whole outfit, which is very icy, very cold. I agree, I was also a little underwhelmed with this look as well. It's totally something I would wear, but I felt like for signature drag, this just didn't read Nasha Lopez. I love the hair. I think it's so beautiful. I love that she chose to do it off of her shoulders so we could get that nice neckline. And I think it fits to perfection. It's a great look. I just felt like it wasn't signature Nasha. I feel like for her, she's always showing body, or as you said, representing Miss Continental with a gorgeous beaded gown. 
Yeah, even the look that she wore as Donatella Versace in the first runway, that spoke more of Nasha than this. Agree. If she wants to go for this theme and this color, I would turn it into a dress or something like that, and she can still keep this hair, and they put some appliques of like rhinestones or some crystals in the hair so that it translates from the bodysuit into the hair as well. But yeah, this is not Nasha to me. But I would totally wear this look though. Next up, we have Miss James Mansfield serving us 1950s glamour. And I do think this is her signature style. However, I felt like everything was too much of the same color and really washed her out. Really? I really wish that the fur detail would have been in another color to give her a pop and then maybe have that matching on the lips. I love the hair. I think it's totally kind of Mars attack with that high, high updo. And I think it is a great look. Overall, I just was left wanting more and not necessarily in the best way. Okay. I enjoy this look. It's very monochromatic, but I can see your point as well. I see the monochromatic colors on this, but I do also see different textures as well. I see the satin on the dress. I see the fur on the pieces on the arms and the nude illusion, beautifully done. I enjoy this. Next up is Miss Jessica Wilde. Absolutely see Jessica in this. She's not just a show girl, but she's also a very punk and rocky and edgy girl too. And this whole aesthetic with the white hair popping out, very good choice. Well, I don't really see this as a signature Jessica look. Really? I don't really think of her as a rocker. I think of her much more as a Latin showgirl. So I wish she was almost wearing something sort of like I am today with a lot of embellishment and a lot of fringe because I always see her in fringe giving us full on Beyonce movements with her hair. But I do think this is a great look and I do really like it. I love that she identifies as a rocker and if that's what she feels is her signature drag, then more power to her. I love the way that the bodysuit looks like a leather jacket, but is really still a leotard. And I love the color choice. I think again, that dark lip to match looks really sophisticated, popping against that white, crazy, wild rocker hair. So I totally think she nailed the look, but to me, it just isn't giving her signature drag. Got it. I see Jessica in this. Or should I say, Jessica Wilde. Next up is Miss Jimbo serving you Camp Cuckoo Crazy Cunt in this. And I love this look. She has the brain explosion from the top all the way to the bottom of the outfit. And of course, we got the googly eyes from the arms to the legs to the tatas to the hips to the leg. I love this look. And of course, she even has the eyelashes in her tatas too. I am obsessed with this look. I think it's one of the best looks that's ever been on Drag Race. I think she looks so incredibly cool. And as the judges say, she looked like she got her brains out of her. So I'm here for that. It's giving me very Jeremy Scott. It's giving me super runway ready. Yeah. I just think she looks so cool. I'm obsessed with the hair and the floating brain and the brain on her. I love that she's giving us this sort of cartoon monster, the big giant 3D lashes. I mean, I could go on and 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 on about this look. I really think it is truly iconic. Very monster thing. Do you see it or just me? Definitely see it. Yeah, love it, girl. Great job, Jimbo. And I think she spent a lot of money on this season, y'all. Like, I mean, from the promo to the red carpets and even the premiere and even the runways. Great job, Jimbo. Next up, we have Miss MBH. That's right, Miss Monica Beverly Hills, giving us a great look, but not necessarily signature drag to me. This is something that I would perform in, or this is something that I would wear on bootleg opinion, but I don't think it really speaks to her signature drag. I was also very confused by the white shoe choice and the purple lip with the blue outfit. I'm not for sure where that color combination came to her mind, but I do think the actual leotard itself is beautiful. One thing I will say is that it is not a beaded fringe. It is just a tassel fringe. And I feel like for all stars, we want to see the money, mama. We want to see beads on top of sequins, on top of feathers. So I wish she had taken it a step further if she was going to give us a simplistic performance leotard and really paid attention to those details. How dare this is something you will wear on both like openings as well. It's what I'm wearing right now. I mean, it is true. You only see it from the waist up, y'all. I mean, do y'all really want to see what I'm wearing underneath, girl? Like, it's literally nothing. But anyway, with this look, I feel like the standout of this is the ponytail. Now, she's referencing her Latina roots, and I feel like it's fine if she wants to do that as her signature drag, but you just gotta tell it, y'all. Give us some salsa dance moves. Give us more dance moves than just 
walking. It could be a very simplistic outfit, but the way you sell it can also make a huge difference as well. But yeah, also with the shoes, I don't see it as well, unless there's some silver hints of the color and the outfit as well, then I can handle it. But yeah, there's just not much of a connection from the top to the bottom. Unfortunately, this is no for me. Next up, we have Miss La La Ree, and she is serving us the lady in red. Now, I really enjoy this look, and I think this is absolutely signature to her drag. As she said, she's known for wearing leotards and giving us legs for days. So I really like how she took that, but then elevated it with this sort of half cape and train. I love the embellishment on the outfit, and I love the hair in the space buns. I think she looks really cool, really modern, and very La La Ree experience. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know if this reads as Lala Ri as well because a lot of her looks from her original season weren't too great. So I didn't necessarily got a good definition of who Lala Ri is, but nonetheless, she is beautiful in this. I love the red on her. It kind of reminds me of the red emoji dancing person. You know what I'm talking about? Absolutely, I can see that. I love the ruffles on the gloves. I love the ruffle and extension of the train at the back. But I do wish that in the front, instead of just being half and half, I kind of wish that the crystals kind of bleed into the fabric as well. So it's not just half and half. But yeah, beautiful lot. Uh. Last up is Miss Kasha Davis. There's always time for a cocktail. And she is looking so camp and beautiful in this. Is this her signature track? Yes, it is, y'all. This look, I really do enjoy. I love the hair. Very Priscilla Queen of the Desert. Very camp. Very down under. This color, very signature Kasha Davis as well. What I would have done, I would have maybe had glasses on and then holding a book, reading a book, because you know, she says she's reading a story, and then pull out a flask and be like, there's always time for a cocktail so that there's more of an amp to the drag, you know? But nonetheless, beautiful. I really like this look. I do definitely agree that it is very signature to who she is and the style of her drag. My only critique is I wish the coat was a different color. I feel like she's being swallowed in this deep purple. And I wish the coat was maybe gold, like the headpiece, to give it another pop and another sizzle. I really do enjoy the headpiece, though. Like you said, it's giving us very Australian drag. And I love that it's covered in glitter and stone accessories. I do think she looks really good. I don't mind the top because it's a different material from the rest of the dress. It's sheer, so we still see the differentiation from the top and the dress. So, but I see your point though. Who's your favorite look though? Well, my favorite look definitely goes to Miss Jimbo, honey. My eyes were bopping out of my head when I saw that look. She nailed it to me. Well, I'm gonna have to disagree, okay? My favorite look is Miss Kahana Montrez, y'all. But congrats, queens. And we'll see you very soon for part three. Not part three, girl. Oh my God, yeah. so many videos. I think we're gonna have to get on Sharp Shark and research episode number two. Well, unless we could have done one video and you know, got paid for one payment, but you know, Mama Yu was very smart. So she separated it into three different videos. That's right, Surf Shark. Don't forget to sign up now to change your VPN. It's safe and easy to access. And with UHA's code, you'll get 83% off. That's right, 83% off and you can use it anywhere in the world. In fact, I'm signing up for it right now. Thank you so much, but this video is actually sponsored by a perfume, actually. So let's do it. You ready? <laughs> sure. Hey, squirrel friends. When one video ends, just click on another one. It's called cringe viewing. Go ahead. I support you.